Hey everybody, welcome back. Dave the Wild Flipper here with Wild Hail Sales. We just got back from Pennsylvania visiting family and doing business because we mix them. Why not? Look at all this stuff we got from Pennsylvania. So awesome, and this isn't even all of it. So we just filled the kitchen island here to show you. Uh, we've got a ton more CDs. We've got bags and a box of jewelry. <laughs> we've got some nice mugs. Mm-hmm. that <laughs> we got a Kermit the Frog bank you're gonna hear some meowing so that's face cake don't worry she's okay <laughs> she just goes around the house crying <laughs> she might even come in here I don't know but it even has um, it even has an original tag there on it mm. Look at that and we got these I'm going to go ahead and open one. Swarovski Crystal. Okay, now I'm going to come around here. Yeah, come a little closer. While I carefully get this out. Let's see here. Ooh. Wrong side. Okay, let's try this way. Look at them. It's a bride and groom. Oh, and they're so cute and Look beautiful. That. that is. Those are gorgeous. Those are, those are going to go on the shop really nice. I tell you what, as you're looking over some of this stuff that I'm showing you, pop into the comments. Tell me what your favorite is, and tell me how much you think it's going to go for. Because we have comped a couple of these things, but we don't know what everything's going to go for. And a lot of it I comp as I go. We got these cool Wonder Woman glasses. You're a wonder. Wonderful. In box. We've got this awesome piggy bank. This is a Hallmark mm -hmm. piggy bank. So that is just amazing to us. We got some Tupperware. Yeah. That's the meat tenderizer. We also got the uh, deviled egg carrier. We did. Oops, I gotta put this back over here with that. I can't get lost. We got a vintage set of Chinese sticks by Royal. We got a vintage chess set and an easy a board game called Easy Come, Easy Go that's also vintage. Mm -hmm. uh, I got one cassette tape out of a whole trip <laughs> from uh, by Alabama. We have this interesting tin. Seems vintage, got some age to it. Nicely decorated. We have, this really needs to be cleaned, so I've got my work cut out for me with it. We got a four slot toaster. It's um, a Cuisinart, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I can't see that. We got so much stuff on here. that We just jam packed this and I tell you what, go ahead and give them a little view down here of all the boxes we have yet to dig through. And that includes a bunch of action figures. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them wrestling. Uh, a oh, bunch yeah. Oh, of, that oh is... yeah, we got all this, too. Look all at that, that. too. I mean, we have all that, too. We got, we brought, we packed the Jeep. You know, we got so much cool stuff. It was amazing, because we hit yard sales while we were there, and... There's going to be some really cool stuff that we're going to be pulling out to show you uh, later on, too. Just really great. Um, got some interesting antiques, like an antique. Oh, padlock. you have to show the one that was the star. Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. getting to him. Don't okay. worry. We're not going to leave him out. <laughs> we're, don't steal my thunder. Sorry. I just wanted to make um, sure you didn't forget This it. is also a really beautiful piece. I'm probably going to go over it and try to dust it off a little bit. Uh, this uh, pair of wolves here. This is a resin cast of uh, of wolves. And it needs a little dusting too. There's a few things that need a little cleaning. But yeah, you know, let's go ahead. I found this little guy at a yard sale. And he's re 
detangling just a little bit. Let me see if I can carefully lift him up. I really don't know what I'm doing. It's okay. You don't have to know what you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing, but look at that. Yay, I can make him dance a little bit. (laughs) He is, and he's got, you know, a couple little knocks here and there. Uh, He is from the Tellen Collection. Pretty vintage. Um, Got him at at a yard sale. And uh, I will tell you what I paid for him when he sells. <laughs> but uh, we're we're pretty happy with. He's kind of he's kind of the star because he's so different, and we've never come across anything like him before. I mean, the Swarovski crystals are super okay, but to me. Finding this guy because he's so offbeat, so different, was really the star of our finds. <laughs> oh, look at that. You're making him walk. I'm making him walk. Woo! That's so cool. <laughs> so, let me gently lay him down. We had to untangle him, and I'm trying so hard not to tangle him back up. And packing him should be really easy. I mean, you would but I also will want to make sure that he's packed extra safe. So, folks, we're going to go ahead and jump out of this portion of the video, and when I come back in a woo blink, we're going to show you what sold while we were gone. It's uh, We've got about 22 orders headed out, which is so nice for having our... We had everything marked as a way, so getting some sales. I made lots of offers while we were gone with a message of, hey, just because we're on vacation... Doesn't mean you can't have this. <laughs> so give us um, that little blink of an eye of your time while this takes me a good 15 or 20 minutes, and we'll show you what's so. Hey, I'm back! That was quick, wasn't it? It wasn't for me. Anyway. Uh, got a bunch of great stuff going out, about 22 sales, 22 orders headed out of here. And I may as well start with what's right in front of me, of this big old batch, big family of uh, Mr. Potato Heads. Um, yeah, got a few, still a bit of staining to them and stuff, but um, overall pretty good condition. The Santa hat's uh, particularly collectible. Even though this one's missing its post, I did tell them that it's missing its post, though. That was made clear. So this whole batch and uh, carrying case uh, out the door for $24.26. And they paid for shipping on top of that. So everything uh, shipping is paid. Uh, So I'm just not giving you the amounts with the shipping. what people do. Uh, Other really great and cool things. We got some neat little smalls going out. We've got a thimble. Uh, That little guy's going out for about $3.95. I got a whole bunch of those uh, from the Franklin Mint, uh, Birds of the World. And we've sold uh, three or four of them now since I decided to put them on separately. I had them on as a lot and they didn't move. So I thought, well, maybe people just want this one or that one. And that's turning out to be a bit better for us. We've certainly made our money back for it. I paid $5 for the entire batch of about... 30, I want to say, thimbles. So at $3.95, I've sold um, three of them now? Four? Something like that. I can't keep up. Uh, Let's see. So we've got this little thing of uh, model vintage soldiers. The model soldiers are going out of here for $9. I made an offer, and they took it. And that was really cool. More hero clicks going out. If you've been following me, you know that I've got these from this fun tabletop game, Hero Clicks, where you take uh, little models of different comic book characters, put them in a little team, and then go up against your friend and see who comes out on top. Uh, this is Ghost Rider. We've got two different versions of him in here, and he is going out the door for nine dollars. Also made an offer on that, and they took it. 
Got a D&D &D going out the door. Yes, D&D. &D. And D&D &D is going out for $3.95. Not a great big sale, but we're getting ready to take the ones that are left and put them into a lot. And we think they'll sell better that way. Uh, we do have some jewelry going out. And they're in the bag. You can't see these very well. They're earrings. And they went out for, boy, what did, what, which earrings were those? These are the chandelier. I don't know what they, I don't think I wrote down what they went out for. I, I don't they, remember. I think they went out for five bucks. Probably. I think they went out for five dollars. But we do have this lovely turquoise piece. A faux turquoise. Faux turquoise. Okay, yeah, it's not real turquoise. But this this went out for five dollars okay. for sure. So we know that went out for five. And the Monet, which I think are going to China, right here, mm -hmm. uh, went out for seven dollars and seventy cents. So pretty nice on the. Oh, you're you're showing off the earrings there. I'm showing off these earrings because I love these. I thought these were so pretty. And I don't. I did not write down. I'll let you have. put them back in the bag. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, gosh. My fumble fingers get to do this? Well, you know what? Oh. I only have one hand because I'm holding the camera oh, with the other camera. hand. Oh, my God. See what I deal with. <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got a milk glass Davy Crockett bowl. Davy Crockett. Vintage. Came going out for, let's see, where are you, Davy Crockett? $7 even. I made an offer. They took it. Very nice. We've got this vintage refrigerator mold icebox cookie maker. I don't know if anybody has any old recipes from their grandmas that made quote-unquote refrigerator cookies. But these are, are icebox cookies. This is the mold that you would put them in before you would slice them. And I wish I had kept this. <laughs> well, it's going out the door for $6.75. Yeah. Uh, that was also an offer. Someone took that. And I make lots of offers. We make offers to get things out the door. Uh, you can see right here I've got a crystal vase in Edinburgh. It is going out. Now, crystal sadly does not sell very well. Um, or for not very much. It, it's it's got to go cheap if you want it to really go at all. Uh, this went out the door for eight dollars and fifteen cents on our thirty percent off sales. So uh, I wound up with a, a whole bunch of this uh, crystal from a place I call the Throwaway House, and I can't get into a lot of the details on it, but I can tell you I wound up with a ton of crystal, and it all goes uh, very cheap. However. Um, I also did not have to pay anything for it. So it was just kind of pushed into our shop, and there it is. So there we have it. Now, sorry, I think oh, the garbage truck's going by. If you can hear it, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, we've got these mixed match matched pieces here, and we've got Daniel the Tiger and the Owl from uh, Daniel's Musical Neighborhood. This is just a mixed match of parts that probably go with uh, the tree house that we found much, much later, mm -hmm. as, as weirdness would have it. But this batch of parts went out for $17.26. Not terrible. Mm. Uh, we've got the Allman Brothers Band, Shades of Two Worlds, headed out. There's a crack in the case that I did tell them about. We do check all of our media. And that's something I post in there when I'm posting. Rather than just listing, relisting all the names on this again when I have tons of CDs, I put in there the explanation that we do check them all and to look closely at the photos. But if it has a cracked case, I will say that right in the title. And the Allman Brothers uh, are going out for... Where are you, Allman Brothers, on the list? I know I listed them. There they are, $4.50. So, not bad for a CD, honestly. You know, most CDs, you get 3 to $5 out of them, you're doing pretty good. We've got a sealed movie, uh, kind of a B-movie, if you will. Uh, Dark Kingdom, The Dragon King, is headed out the door at $4.65 for a sealed movie. 
We've also got a very popular movie, Friday. And Friday is headed out at four dollars and seventy five cents. I Hi, mean, Felicia. It's from. It's, it's I know. Okay, okay. I know. You just have to, don't you? Yes, I do. I have to you quote. Have to. I have, have to. to quote. But that is also a sealed movie, and um, you know, again, movies don't go for a whole lot. But if you got a lot of them and you sell a few, they add up. So it's not so bad. We do have a steel book going out. Band of Brothers, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. It does have a little bit of a, a dent on one side, but all of the discs are there, and they all, they're all in good condition. And Band of Brothers here is going out for $13.76. So I'll put these down here. Very nice. Uh, these are going out to two different people. Got a couple of uh, paper doll books from the paper doll venture, which we've totally made everything back on and then some. Um, I mean, I spent $60 on a huge stack of these and we've, we've made that back. Um, the American Family of the 1940s Paper Dolls. So let me go ahead and open this and you can kind of see what that looks like. It's uncut, no one's ever used it. And right up in the beginning you get the, uh, the people mm -hmm. that you can put the clothes on. Okay, and they even have names, and this is by Tom Tierney. And this book is out the door for, let's see here, 1940s, $8.15. And the Victorian Mouse Paper Dolls, also, um, you kind of see you get your Aww. little mice in there. And you got to go in between pages. Aww. And all kinds of different little things. You got another little guy right there. So really cool, really cute. And the uh, Victorian mouse paper dolls are going out for $6.75, which were an offer, once again, that someone took. Right? We have a record going out. The Best of Tommy James and the Shondells. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's in really good condition. We also... Now, we don't have the means to test all our records, and I do try to make sure that's very clear, but we do check them for anything that looks like it would impede play, heavy gouges or scratches, and <clears throat> if, they're, if they don't look like they'll play to us, we don't sell them. But Tommy James looked pretty good, and he is going out the door for, once I find him, $9.56, which is really good for a record. Really good. Excellent, in fact. Um, I'll get to our big sale in a little bit here. Uh, I went ahead and I put this guy up for auction <clears throat> because he's really rare. Um, he was the only one being sold on eBay at the time. Oh, he's got a little chip right there I didn't notice, but this is the big one mm -hmm. that I photoed. And starting bid was $20, and that's what he sold for. He sold for $20, which I'm really happy with still. But as you can see here, I'll take this off and look at that. You get to see, you know, things in there. There's his bald head with a parrot <laughs> on it. So there's a picture behind it. Mm -hmm. um, really nice shape for its age. Uh, this is a 1970s wood puzzle. And it did go for $20. Now we also have a Play School Goofy vintage puzzle. We have a few lines and some edge wear. Okay, that's pretty common for these. And Goofy here, uh, let's see, did I make an offer on Goofy? I'm going to find him on the list here eventually. Where are you at, Goofy? There you go, first one I wrote down. $8, so I did. I made an offer, and they took it for $8 for Goofy. Um, big sale of the day. Two of these were available, and they both sold. So the other one's right over there. Uh, person, I don't know if you're a viewer or not. If you are, thank you very much. That's lovely. We'll get these right out to you because now that we're back from vacation, it's time to catch up. Uh, they bought both sets of the Paw Patrol set here and both sets together are going out for $52.72. That's our big sale of the weekend. So 
that is, I do believe, everything that I now have to get into packing up and getting ready to go. I'm going to take me a little break with my coffee, and then we will dig right into it. It's actually a good weekend for being listed as away, because we did put the shop as away, and that told people there was going to be a delay, right? And we weren't sure at all. This is the first time we've done this. I felt like I was leaving my my firstborn baby with the babysitter when I left and went on vacation. I was just worried, you know. But this actually turned out pretty well. the sh The trip was awesome. We had a really great time. Uh, we had a good. We were there to see family. We had a good time with them. We had a good time going to yard sales and sourcing. Uh, just overall, lots of fun. And now it's time to dig back into it. So uh, tell us what you think. Do you go on vacation and, and your shop is okay? Or do you worry about it? Tell us some of your stories. We'd love to hear from you. As always, please consider subscribing to us. Hit the little bell so you know when we do something new. Because we've been a little sporadic lately. And we'll be right here packing, shipping, and ready to see you next time.